Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hymn. I am excited about the favorites that I have for you guys. They're kind of unique um, and I think that you all will really like them too. Um, so you saw the series that I did about um, the uh, trick or treat series where I tested out a whole bunch of sewing tricks to see if they actually worked or not. Um, and in that series, I um, did one with the seam ripper about how you use that little red ball to like quickly cut through your fabric. And whereas it kind of worked, it also kind of didn't. A lot of you commented in the comments about how you've actually ripped your fabric that way. So I set out to find alternative ways to um, seam rip. And I'm going to do an entire video on all the different ways I found, but I wanted to give you a little tease, I guess, and tell you about one of my favorite ways with an unexpected tool. So this is actually a little razor and I found it in like the beauty section. So I think it's for like trimming your eyebrows and like getting your what is this unibrow and like maybe nose hair or something? I don't know, but it's like a little razor on a stick basically. And um, if you use this and you can kind of just like cut, you're cutting each individual thread just like a seam ripper would, but you can kind of do it more accurately than just zipping through like I was trying to do with the seam ripper. Um, this is a little bit more, um, like you can be a little more careful with this, but at the same time, it does go by faster than picking out each individual thread from the right or wrong side of the fabric. You can still go at it from the middle where the seam connects. Um, so it still goes by faster. I mean, I'll do a demo for you guys when I do that other video, but um, I did want to tell you about this because you might have this at home maybe, and you can try it out in your sewing room and see if it helps you. Um, but I'll have a link in the description box where you can buy these. I want to say they were like, it was a set of three that was like maybe $5. So um, you can pick them up for really cheap. Um, so link in the description box for a fun, weird, unique way to <laughs> seam, rip your seams. Okay, next up also involves cutting. I finally got one of these buttonhole cutters. Um, and oh, one of my friends at in Buford, I can't remember if it was Amber or Sarah, had one and I used it for the buttonholes on my llama pajamas and it really was a game changer. Um, so I got one for myself finally. But basically, instead of using your seam ripper and putting a pin at the top and bottom of the buttonhole and like praying to God that you don't cut through any of the threads, you take this little like, I don't know, it's like a flat a flat knife. I mean, it's very, very, very sharp. Um, also packaged really well. Hold on. Yeah. So it's like this really super, yeah, you can see it there, really sharp blade. And you basically just pierce it down into your fabric where the buttonhole is. Um, it comes with, it's a set because it comes with this little like wooden things to give yourself something to cut into so that you don't um, ruin your table or your floors or whatever else that you would be um, cutting through. So this is just like a little protective thing. Sarah's had though a, um, I want to say it was like a piece of leather or something. So if you have some like upholstery leather, that might also work. Um, and then it also has one for round buttonholes. So if you're going to be doing those in like, I guess a belt, for like, you know, for the belt holes, um, you could put it in there. But um, I got it mostly for this and then um, needed this part too. And then that other thing just was in the kit as well. So um, yeah, these are really great. If you're doing a lot of shirt dresses or jackets or um, anything like that, doing a lot of buttonholes um, and you want to be really accurate about it, and not run the risk of like ruining your garment at the very last minute, <laughs> which I am always afraid of. The buttonhole cutter set is great. So link in the description box to find this. And then finally, I just have a good old trusty water bottle. 
I don't know why this never occurred to me before, but instead of using the steam setting on my iron and then always running out of water in there and having to refill the reservoir and like not having control of the steam really, I said, forget that. Got a spray bottle. I have it set to like a little misty thing. Can you see that? Um, and I just barely miss the fabric if it's like a lighter fabric or I like douse it if it's like cotton and can take the super high heat. And I have not refilled my um, iron like ever. Um, so I just feel like the water bottle just gives you more control with the steam. It You can fill it up with a lot more water than the iron will take. Um, and you can trust, I, I get worried that the steam coming out of whatever components are inside the iron I don't know. Do they get rusty or I don't know. I just don't trust that it's, just, that it's the cleanest water coming out. You know what I'm saying? So this makes me feel a little bit better that I'm not going to, I don't know, put any weird stuff embedded into, into my fabric. Um, obviously you can get these like literally anywhere, probably at the dollar store. Um, so there will not be a link for these in the description box because you probably already have one at home, but I just wanted to vouch for, um, uh, steaming your fabric this way rather than through your iron. Okay. So yeah, those are my favorites for this month. Um, let me know if you have been using anything that you're loving, whether it be a sewing notion or anything else random. Um, if you're using it and you're sewing and you're loving it, let me know so that I can try it out too and then possibly share it with the world. Um, but other than that, it's going to do it for me today and I will see you all next time. Bye.